This is an initiation area, Mount Chamber in the Flinders Ranges. It's an amphitheatre kind of setup or rocky areas in a circle with a clearing in the centre. This is always an important area to line up. The Spencer Gulf seems to be like a central pivoting point for these. Go back and click on the red bar and have a look. Here is the rock we've just been looking at and this landscape continues to curve around. So we're going to go all the way to the coast. I think this one's very good because the colours match so well. This is also in the Flinders Ranges. These are freshly painted, no doubt over older paintings and on no doubt older construction. Perhaps I should have pointed out for anyone who doesn't know the Flinders Ranges are in this area. And now we're in the Shervo Cave. So this is not painted. This is the cave wall and objects within the cave. You'll notice that this is a face, leaving us no doubt that this is a construction. It doesn't look like any kind of natural stalagmite could look. Flowstone. How could this be created naturally? How could we end up with a face like that? And there are so many faces here in the Shervo Cave. And now let's look how this matches onto Victoria.
we're going to look at this feature more closely. This is an important area called the Riverina, where the rivers join Australia's biggest river, the Murray. A lot of fruit growing takes place along here, which is where I originate from. Here is Tasmania, which is found right on the floor in front of that Victoria rock. So don't forget we are seeing um, the normal conditions during the ice age when the ocean levels are lower and those, those coastlines are exposed, which we can see at the moment from this map. From this satellite photograph, we can see these shallow continental shelf. We can see a big face here. They've lit this up beautifully so that we can see the layers going back. New Zealand was a much larger island in those times and if you look up Zealandia you will see images. All of this underwater used to be exposed including this stuff here. There's a bit of an idea.
this area has been shot from a different angle which we'll look at in a second and then finally we see this in the in the closing slide of this series which makes it move across the landscape Here's another angle. Which, which shifted it across the landscape. But it still works. There is a lot of stuff under the water up here. So even though you can see the coastline, be sure there's sunken islands out here and exposed islands, Great Barrier Reef and Whitsunday Islands. You'll notice the bird that was in an earlier presentation and directly above the bird, look at a face with wings. There's another face over here looking down. Maybe there's even broken faces through here looking down instead of face. Is this wings? lines at different levels, water levels. is a character who seems to be throwing a bit of a Hawaiian haka with the left hand perhaps what do you think okay I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching